Hey everybody, this is Richard, and in the next few minutes I'll be talking about the Swing Trader algorithm, which is one of our oldest algorithms that we that we offer on the website. And it's it's been trading live since October 2015, which is uh, over three years now, which is quite a while. So what that means is I haven't touched it, we haven't re-optimized it or changed anything in it uh, since October 2015. It trades two algorithms. It trades the S&P E-mini algorithm as well as the 10-year note. And that's one reason why I have on the chart here on the top the S&P and on the bottom the 10-year note. But if I asked you just in general, can anyone predict the market direction? Can, is there any system out there that, that trades 100% with, with no losing trades? Of course, the answer is no. So the approach that I take to the market is not that we try to, to to get a winning trade every time, therefore over optimizing the algorithms and, and making their performance much worse on live trades. What we do instead is we, we try to take a market direction agnostic position by going long the S&P as well as long the tenure at times. And so what that does is it allows us to take advantage of both up and down moving markets. I mean, if you look at this chart here, you'll see what I mean is the S&P is going higher here. Tenure note typically trades inverse to that and is going lower. And as the, as the market started selling off back in October, you see the tenure really started to rally. And so you, you can almost envision if, if, you, uh, if, if you were able to get out on the sideline on the S&P, but be long the tenure, then you, you, could, you could potentially do really well. And that's really what this algorithm is about. We trade both of them, meaning we don't really care if the market's going up or down. What we really care about is that there's some kind of a trend. And, and fortunately, there's usually a trend in one of those. And so we, we we've done really well over the last few years. With that, let me go into some details and show you some examples. Okay, so let's take a quick look at how this algorithm does in up moving markets. And so what you're looking at right here, this is, is certainly a rally that's been, that was going on in the S&P uh, pretty much the entire year of 2017. And it really uh, kind of ended in January of 2018 when the market spiked and then it started selling off. Since then, the market has been a lot more volatile. So 2018 was a very volatile period. But if, if I go ahead and enable the algorithms now, you'll, you'll kind of see what I mean. And what I want you to look for is the pattern of, of trades to just kind of see how, how, they, how it trades more often when the market is going higher and how it gets on the sideline as the market sells off. So if I, if I scroll over to this period right in here, so this is, that, this is just part of that area in 2017 where the market was going higher and i just kind of picked this at random really but if what you'll notice is if you look right here here's a great example of a trade where the algorithm bought on the 10th of of uh, august and ended up selling right in here um, a few days later with a pretty nice gain that's what this dotted line means so if, if it's a blue dotted line that means it's a winning trade if it's a red dotted line like you can kind of see right in here then that's a losing trade and i'll i'll zoom in a little bit closer so you can see what i mean but in essence what this algorithm will do is it'll buy uh five minutes before the equity markets close the time that's shown here by the way is the mountain standard but it'll buy five minutes before the equity markets close it'll throw out a stop and then also a limit order and whichever one gets hit first is the the exit that it'll take but sometimes it will actually not send out a limit order and only have a stop out. And when it's doing that, really what it's saying is it thinks that the market's going to go higher for an extended period like it did in here. Other times it'll get out pretty quickly like it did here. And so what it does is it's dynamically adjusting the target where the stop stays uh, more static. But what this means is that as the market is going higher, you'll see a lot more trades. Uh, just like throughout here, as the market's going higher, it's going to trade more. It's going to get in and get out at different times. And it, it just happens to do really well in this case as the market's going higher. What I want to do now is show you how it does when the market starts to sell off. So as the market sells off, what you'll notice is that the algorithm really shuts itself off. And so if you look in here, this is really the sell off that the, the market has seen since October of 2018. So it's been going on for a little while now. But notice how there's not as much uh, there's not as many trades on the chart. Well, that's because what it does is it goes on the sideline, and and it'll still have a few trades like it did throughout here and here, but it's not as many. And so the algorithm is really good at, at getting on the sideline when it thinks the market's going lower. So again, if I zoom out, you'll see that as the market is going higher, it'll have a lot more trades, and it'll it'll just almost place a trade every day, get out the next day, or maybe hold on for a few days with with some breaks in between, but the, the breaks usually don't happen very often as long as the market's going higher. 
So it'll trade quite a bit. But again, as the market rolls over, you'll see that the, the trades kind of start tapering off and there's not as many. Now, it doesn't mean that we don't trade when the market is going lower. It just means the S&P algorithm doesn't trade as much. So let's talk about the 10-year note algorithm now. And that's Because that's how we take advantage of the down-moving S&P markets. Okay, so all I've done now is I've, I've flipped the chart around so that the 10-year note is on the top chart. That's why it says TY right here. And the S&P now is on the bottom chart. The ES is right here. And if you look here, this is uh, so this is June, just to give you some uh, the frame of, of reference here. But this is June of, of 2018. Market saw a rally kind of between, I don't know, roughly June and October of 2018. And then the S&P starts selling off. And that's this down move that you see here. And since then, the S&P has been rallying a bit. Uh, and, and remember, I, I took the trades off this bottom chart. So it's not showing any of the S&P trades. Really, what I wanted to show you is that as the S&P is going lower here, the 10 year rallies and that's how we took advantage of that period because you, you can see that we, we ended up exiting the 10 year note trade kind of uh, early December of 2018. It jumped right back in and took advantage of this up move and, and got out with another gain. Then it jumped back in again and we saw a gain here um, and then but we, we held on to that trade. And so it's still long the 10 year right now. But the, the key thing to remember is that this algorithm by by going long the 10 year at times, it's able to take advantage of these down moving S&P markets. So when you put it together, really what you have is an algorithm that, that trades, uh, that, that takes advantage of both up moving and down moving markets. And I think that's what, what this data shows. So so if, if you have an interest in this algorithm, we would love to have you reach out to us. We can show you a lot more data. I can, I can do a demo if you'd like, show you all the stats on it. But, but basically this algorithm, it's a swing trade algorithm, it trades both the S&P and the 10-year note, and it it uh, it's done really well. It's traded live now for over three years, and it, it's once again showed us its ability to generate profits. And that as the S and P was has been selling off, this algorithm was profitable um, in December and January as well of, of 2019. And I'd like to just quickly show you the two algorithms stacked one on top of the other. So this is the S and P algorithm on the top, and the 10-year note algorithm on the bottom, and We've talked a lot about how they perform both up moving and down moving S and P markets. But if you have any questions, uh, just reach out to us. We'd love to, to answer any questions. Uh, do a demo if you'd like. But I think that's about all I have. So keep in mind these uh, these algorithms trade the futures market. It's it's not for everyone. They involve substantial risk of loss. And please refer to the other disclaimers that we have as well. These do trade automatically through some of the NFA registered brokers that, that support the algorithms. And um, I think that's it. So have a great day. Bye.